lots of people want to touch your child and you can say don't touch my baby because it's it, and then I put it in ah it's open <laughs> I can go on Initially, I started using. I got this at um, 50 CDs here, and I just pack everything inside, and it was quite difficult to pick something out easily. But with the compartment bag, it's easy to find my powder, it's easy to find my bottle, it's easy to find my sanitizer. So that's why I will go for it any day, any time. This is the very first on my list, and that's um, a hand sanitizer. Um, babies have such a weak immune system, so they are prone to infection. Or whenever you go out, you, you don't get easy access to um, pipes to wash your hands. So the hand sanitizer is um, the quickest and easiest way to keep your hand um, neat and um, disinfectant before touching your baby. And also you go out and lots of people want to touch your child and you can say, don't touch my baby because it's it, it, will, it will come out as you being um, impolite. So I would rather say, can you please just use um, the hand sanitizer before touching the child? My child? Well, I think that's more polite. Right, guys? Number two is um, the baby's feeding bottle. Yeah, to so mix his food when he's hungry, just mix your food and then you're good to go. I'm not going to talk much about this. Moving forward is the baby's food. So the baby can get hungry at any time and anywhere. So you always have to go out with your baby food and then yes, it makes some little portion for the baby when the baby is hungry. So this is a nappy cream made in Ghana and it was recommended to me by my mom-in-law and I really love it. So far it's the best for me. I will go for this any day, any time. It's actually called um, Ecobill. Am I saying it right? Guys, my chin is so bad. So, moving on to my baby's powder. I use Johnson's baby powder. It's, it's good for me. I like it. So, this is a little press that comes with the diaper bag. It's like a bonus. I love to put my baby's water inside. As you can see, this is my baby's water bottle. So, I usually, I usually put it inside the and my reasons for putting the water inside is because it protects and keeps the water safe and it keeps it at um, room temperature so like more like a flux thing yeah. so I just put the baby bottle here and look so easy and you can always just take it out whenever and wherever and the next is my baby's flat. So I always put hot water here to mix his food. So before I step out of the house, I heat some water, I put it in the flat. And then I put it in. Ah, it's open. <laughs> I can go on. It's on. And I have my nose mask, which is a necessity. We are in COVID-19 era, so it's good to protect myself as I protect my baby as well. So I always have a nose mask in my baby's diaper bag, for myself actually. Then we have two types of wipes. We have the disinfectant wipes and we have 
this, this normal one that everyone uses. It's fine if you can't afford the two. You can still use you can still use one, which is what I'm doing. And most importantly, when he poops, you can use it to clean his backside. Yeah. So I'm gonna put. This is the reason why I actually like the compartment bag because I normally place my wipes at the other side of the bag, which is here. Then I pair the flats with his water bottle. So there you go. Moving on to the next. It's your baby's diapers. I like to use the pull-ups, which is like a pants. So I just pull it. <laughs> so I just put it on him. And I'm having five diapers here for personal reasons. I've had circumstances where I have only two diapers and my baby would poop like three, four times in a day and I would literally have to find the nearest supermarket or pharmacy to buy <coughs> to buy diapers just change my baby so i think it's very convenient to pack five diapers because babies tend to poop a lot sometimes in a day they could poop like three times in a day or four times in a day so and then um you never know your baby could have a running stomach or diarrhea as you people would say um so just Pack five. Five is always convenient because it's, I've seen it. It's convenient for me, so. And this is um, a knee cap. My baby is in his crawling stage, so this protects his knee. So I always carry it along. Anywhere I go, when he hits in the mood, I just put it on his knee. Okay, I just messed this up. How do I open it now? So, so I managed to open it. This is how it looks like. Two, you just put it on his knee and he can crawl to wherever he wants to go. Yeah. It protects his knee, so it's it's I think it's an necessity. As a mother you should get it here. So go into another So I have my baby go. It looks like a palette. <laughs> Okay, so this is my baby's bowl. I, I take it along when I'm going out. So just in case my baby wants to eat fruits and I slice the fruits, I put it in there and then he, he picks one and then he puts it in his mouth. So yeah. And then he's spoon for feeding him. I have a toy for him, a toy for him. It's just you can use it to play whenever, wherever. Yeah. So this is a changing mat. It comes with a diaper bag. Um, so sometimes you find yourself in a public space where you can just put your baby in in a, in a table or just anywhere to change them when they poop. So this comes in very handy. You put it down and then you just place your baby and then you change him. It's also very convenient because when your baby soils it, it's it's like rubber. You just use your baby wipes and you clean it and you're good to go. So your baby will not end up soiling any surface or any of your sheets. So we have my baby's clothes. Baby's clothes. When your baby poops and you're changing your baby, your baby can soil his or her outfits. So if you have an extra outfit, it comes in very handy. You just change your baby when they tend to soil their other clothes that you initially put on them when you, before you stepped out. So I normally pick three types of clothes. I pick a short sleeve, just in case the weather is very hot for my son. 
I can just change him to this very short overall. So I have this overall for cold weather, and then I have this I play with this sometimes. So, so I just fold them and then I put them in the bag. extra socks. When it comes to feeding your baby or giving him medicine, the burping clubs comes in very handy. This is because feeding your baby can become very messy and this can help. So this is a blanket I carry along wherever I go. So when my baby falls asleep, I just use this to cover him to keep him warm or if I'm laying him down I spread this on then I put him on and he sleeps peacefully like a baby just like the baby that he is <laughs> I fold it nicely and then I roll it like that it becomes a bit tiny and smaller so it can go into the bag this is a cost sheet I like to carry along for my own personal reasons so whenever I go to work or sometimes when I go to my mom-in-law's place I shower with my baby before I go home at night so I use it as a wrap when I shower and then I use it to back my baby so I'm, I'm an African and we Africans sometimes like to put our baby on our back it's called what piggy piggy backing I don't I don't know but I like to use it to back my baby. So when I get tired of holding him, I just use this, I open it wide and I just put it on my back, put my baby on my back and then I back him. And then within some 30 minutes, he falls asleep, like the baby that he is. So, yes, I like it. <laughs> Softly spoken with no strings tied. See? So easy, so convenient, and so comfortable. You can hold it like this, or you can put it on your back, like that. Do whatever makes you comfortable, but I like to hold it this way. This is more comfortable for me, so I just hold it this way. And I'm good to go. So that's it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. If you like this, expect more of this. I will try to show you more of my experience as a mother. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you, guys. Bye bye.